All right. We're back. All right. So, for the rest of this day, we'll retcon the rest of Wesley's shopping trip. Mm -hmm. Um, Wesley, would you like these beans? You seem interested in them. I don't think I'm going to use them. Eat them. Yeah, I, I, I had an idea when we got that dust of dryness to make a, a hollow bullet with, with, like, stuff in it. And I could put a bean in it, I guess. I, I don't know what would happen. All right, well, it, it's all yours, and I give you the bag of beans. It has five beans in it. Bag of beans is legit one of my favorite magic items. <laughs> <laughs> it's also like the trolliest towards the DM because I did it once and I blocked a, tra a dragon in its cave and the DM had to come up with a whole pyramid themed dungeon on the fly <laughs> alright fuck your plot make me a new dungeon now and uh, I have this, this wand here that's good for finding traps and secret doors I'm not exactly the one who goes ahead and does those kinds of things. Would anybody like to take it off my hands? How do you use the wand? I mean, you just point it in a direction, and if there's a trap or a, or a, like a secret door or a secret, it will glow and tell you. You don't have to be magic or anything. Hmm. I mean, I'll I take it. I mean, I can hold on. I to feel it. like me and Gilbert would probably forget. Thrust, maybe you would be good to keep it. Because Lyra and Wesley just don't really walk up. And me and Gilbert are. Well, me and Gilbert are me. And I mean, any, anybody can use it at any time, so I can hold it. And then if anyone wants to use it, just ask and I'll give it to you, I suppose. I think that'll work. Okay. Besides, you look cool carrying all those magic things. Yeah, I've got like a belt with three wands and stuff. Like a bandolier of scrolls. <laughs> All right, boys and girls. We've got roughly an hour to an hour and a half left. Um, um I, I think we should discuss who gets this book because I thought it was just like you know a book about like hey don't do this because you know, like you'll get hurt and this and that. But it kind of looks special. Uh, I mean, the we want to give it. To, uh, to Mr. Gilbert because he's like a frontline fighter, or Miss Lyra because she, I mean to be fair, Lyra, your your aim's kind of terrible. Uh, we've been meaning to talk to you about this. I guess this is an intervention. Whoever mm. reads it is gonna have to spend a long time doing it. Like they have to spend all of their time reading for the next few days, essentially. So whoever it is, that sounds like, like my kind reading. of reading. Yeah, don't get me wrong. It's it's just you know I kind of got a lot of stuff to do while we're in town, so. I mean, All right, Miss Lyra, here you go. Here's the book. Thanks. The the Angahan Apocrypha. Angahan Apocrypha. <laughs> well, you'll, you'll read it. You'll read it. <laughs> um, can I see Thanks. your... That's why, I don't... Actually... That's why I don't like reading out loud, because sometimes you sound silly when you know what the word is. Um, Argon Apocrypha? There you go. Oh, fancy boy with his reading. Good on you. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I did read a fair bit. I mean, probably not as much as you Wesley look Gilbert. pretty fancy in that armor. Yeah, you do look very nice, Alex. I, oh, there's a big word. Like, does something, by the way. I, like it's not I just kinda, fancy. I kind of feel weird because I mean, people are looking at me, and it's not like, why is that guy so beat up? I don't. They don't know how I feel about it. Um. Well, if you want, we can roll you down the near the nearest hill, and, you, and we can get some new bumps and scratches in it. I think this armor is tougher than that. I think that would just make me really, really dizzy. So, uh, I, adamantine armor means that any critical hit against you becomes a normal hit. Yep. I do not oh. want to meet the person that can put a dent in that armor, to be frank. <laughs> uh, yes. Oh. We fight a storm giant. <laughs> Gilbert, is it okay if I uh, have your chimera tooth for a bit? I guess, and I take it off and I hand, hand it to you. Try not to damage it, it's cool. Um, is there a place that I can get, like, gold necklaces made out of it? Or, like, made for the the two Probably chimera? Probably a jeweler. 
Yeah, is there a jeweler in town, Jim? Like, we don't have to role play. I just want to know how much gold I'm spending on these things. Yeah, what do you want to do? Get the two. He wants to get a gold necklace. Yeah, for the basically tooth. get the like. Oh, get a chain for it. Yeah, a chain and and like. Yeah, just an just like ten gold. For the two of them or both. Fifteen for two. Fifteen for two. Okay, cool. Uh, and yeah, I I come back, Gilbert, and <laughs> give you your gold chain bling oh th this is cool thank, thank, thank you thrust and i just like and instead of actually having it under my shirt i actually have it over my um over my armor yeah so does thrust we look badass yeah. gilbert look at us you do look pretty badass now between adamantine armor and uh eggs oh, and all that of course now we've also started every <laughs> every big beast we kill we should take take a tooth what do we do now? I mean, some of the beasts. Um, we could, I guess, return to the inn until we get word of Barnabas coming back or whatever. Yeah, give Lyra some time to read her book and Wesley some time to craft his stuff. I'm going to read this one. I it's would me. like to pull an all-nighter somewhere and get a couple of tinker checks in. Okay. Okay, so you go You go to the, the tavern. Mm-hmm. And as soon as you walk in the door, as soon as you walk in the door, someone is there, and uh, he jumps up out of his seat. It's a dwarf. Uh, seems to be just a regular guard. Uh, and he comes over and says, Oh, I've been looking for you all day. I've been here. here. And he, like, slows down for a second, catches his breath. I've been here to get you for hours now. Uh Mr. Bodier, Constable Bodier, he corrects himself, told me to come and get you so that you can meet with Barnabas. Sweet. Barnabas is in town now, and he, like, looks outside. It's getting darker, but I think he may still be able to meet with you. I would go right over there right away if I was you. Okay. Awesome. Let's go. Thank you. Yep. He walks with you guys over there. Not like escorting you or anything. He's not like at the ready. He's just going the same direction. <laughs> yeah, like he, he's. <laughs> and when you get to the town hall, he goes down to the barracks. And you guys can. Cool. Well, um, in we go. I like flick a glare yep. at the guard if he's still there, the one who's been a dick to us before. Like, oh yeah, Hello. he's uh he's not there. He's uh oh actually no it would be him yeah no he's there and he fucking gives you. A yeah, neither of you say anything to each other. You just kind of like <laughs> give each other the eye as you pass. Mm -hmm. I like sort of gesture uh, to my chimera, my new necklace. Uh, like, wait. Since yeah. they're giving each other the eye, I'm going to whisper to Gilbert. Since they're giving each other the eye, you should hold up that shield of yours. It's a really big eye. Good idea. And I just like, <laughs> I just like take up my shield and I just like, yeah, I give him an evil eye behind the evil eye. He just shakes his head. <laughs> mutters something under his breath. I'm sure he was really scared of you right there gilbert i know i can see it see it in his face <laughs> um do we have to wait in line again or do, is there some... no it's uh, so like you go inside there's only one person at the table still talking to one other person um and like when they see you uh they like wave you upstairs they they like they like hold their hand out to the person that's talking to them and they say like to say, wait a second, and they lean over to you and say, you can go right upstairs. Mr. Barnabas is still in. I haven't seen him leave yet. And, like, goes back to talking. Thank you. Oh. Usually it's harder for us to get into things. It's because of your new armor, Alex. I mean, you look really fancy, too. And I guess Lyra looks the same. But she was cool before, so... I mean, she was I. Are you saying I wasn't? <laughs> No, I'm saying you look cooler. Like, twice as cool because you have a bunch of cool stuff on you, on top of already being naturally cool. That's right. Let's do this. Kick open the door, <laughs> rock music is playing, <laughs> slow motion of us walking in. <laughs> Damn it, where's my... If only what there was flames... behind us. <laughs> if only there was flames in the background, because, you know, walking <laughs> with flames to the back of you is always cooler. That's it. Okay. Explosions. I could cut someone, then, <laughs> and I mean, we'd have flames at the background. So, so you, you did. 
so you did end up buying the blade? You yes. just didn't test it? Yeah, I haven't tested it, but I did buy it. Okay, awesome. it, uh, just so you know, that one requires attunement as most magical weapons. Yes. So you have to spend some time tonight getting to know it. I will. Um, same for the trident and the net. And um, How about my shield? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. I tuned to my nails. Great. Um, so you walk upstairs, and as you get upstairs, uh, you hear like muffled speech. Uh, all the other offices are empty, including Bodier's. The lights are off, uh, like no candle or anything on the inside, and it's getting darker, so you can tell that no one's inside. Or if they are, maybe they're asleep on their desk or something. Uh, but you, all the doors are closed, and you, as you go over to Barnabas's door, there's some sort of uh, muffled speech, and as you get closer, it gets a little bit clearer, but you still can't really tell what they're saying. Um, it seems to be Barnabas obviously. And uh, another voice, which sounds human, um, but you can't tell what they're saying. Um, the other voice sounds maybe like a little bit worried. Uh, and, and that's all you got. Um, just just passively. Um, what would you like to do? Mm -hmm. do we, are we waiting? Yep. Do we knock on the Gilbert? door? How does, what's the? Well, I was I was gonna say I was gonna say Gilbert looks at Thrust and like, well, sh do you want to knock? Is is that or the should, protocol? I should we? Well, I don't think I would knock. I'm, I'm the Lord. Uh, um, should we? He wait? has been waiting all day. Okay. Oh, well, I, he's been waiting all day. I, and I don't think he would be really holding his breath. I gently rap on the door. Excuse me, Gilbert Apollo. Is he a... As soon as you rap on the door, the voice is cut, and um, you hear like some footsteps. He comes over to the door, pulls it open, like not like a crack, but like not all the way, and puts himself like in front of it and says, "Yes, I'll be right out. Please just wait over there." Okay, thank you. Thank you for your patience. And he like closes the door, goes back to talking to the guy. Um, you hear a little bit of like maybe arguing, um, but you can't tell what they're saying. Uh, In full so half elven measures. Cause can I do a perception at the door? Half elven measures. I'm, I'm sorry. In my halfling um, measures, can I um, go to the door and listen in? What is what does halfling measures mean? Just him be, being a child and being nosy. Oh 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 oh. oh. He's Okay, so like you know, I, I see what you're saying. So yeah, you go over to the door, unless anybody stops you, you kind of like put your ear to the door. It's a wooden door. What I get? Very what I get advantage with my shield since it's on me. You fucking uh oh! You need to you need to attune to it. Ah damn it! Okay. But you can give a you can give a perception check. Perception check. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Ah, uh, it's been better. Uh, yeah, you don't you don't quite make out much. Uh, you do hear a worried voice. Um, he seems to be saying something about like he's worried for his uh, he's worried for his lands. He's worried about what's going to happen to him. And like that's about all you can get. Oh, and for fla flavor wise, guys, you see me lift up my shield and press my ear to it. <laughs> I'm trying trying to hear better. You feel like it might work eventually, but not now. <laughs> so I put it down, come back, and just whisper to thrust what I heard. Hmm. Did it sound familiar? The voice? No. No, not. Well, I knew I, I, I Barnabas sounded familiar, but the but the other guy I've never heard of. Okay, well, I'm sure we'll see him when he leaves. He uh, after maybe five or so minutes, maybe ten minutes. Um, you guys have the hearth to keep you warm and, and nice. Uh, the sun is going down a little more, and he leaves. He opens the door. Barnabas opens the door and waves um, this. Uh, this human out and when you you get a, a glance at him he's older uh gray hair balding on the top with gray around the sides um and he's got this big walrus mustache that like covers his mouth um <laughs> and he's he's he says 
oh, good day to you, sir. And like all stuffy, he's got like the stuffy voice and he sounds very rich and haughty. Yeah, haughty is the word. And he like, good day to you, Lord Barnabas. Thank you for receiving me. And he like walks away and you hear his like uh, shoes like click, click, click as he like walks down uh, each step. Barnabas takes a deep breath and uh, turns to, to all of you and says, Lord DiPaolo, so good to see you again. Six. I have been eagerly awaiting hearing back from you about the goblins. Come in, come in, all of you. He like waves you all. Huh? Mm-hmm. I guess we all go in. Yep. Mm-hmm. I'd like to hear all about it, he says as he sits down. And there's, uh, there's not seats for everyone, uh, but there are two seats. I'll stand. Well, Thrust to stand. Um, huh. Gilbert will take one. Yeah, I look like a decent enough guard. I'll just stand on the left of uh, Gilbert. Or Lord Deep Hollow. Okay. I gesture for Lyra to sit. You're the... Yeah. Of all of us, you're probably the most noble looking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I'll sit. I guess. Okay, so you guys sit, and he he says, and who is this lovely lady? Lord DiPaolo, is this your wife? She's so beautiful. Nice to meet you, and he, like, reaches out Talks. and, does, like, kisses your hand Talks. and everything. I just blush. I, I, I just blush as he says, says it. Like, no, no, she's just a companion that she's been, been with us for a while. A companion? He gives you a wink. I see. I look I so look, awkwardly I and just laugh like, just at that. <laughs> uncomfortably. Uh, companion slash gardener. She <laughs> likes her veggies. I she, don't fucking understand. I'm just going I, to, um, the, I guess she trims the weeds. Oh my god. I'm just going right, to kind of glance this. back at Wesley and give him just a little bit of a glare because that was a really <laughs> dumb thing to say. <laughs> so you want to know about uh, what happened, correct? Uh, yes, I would like to know all about it. My uh, my constable has told me that uh, you had quite the experience. Please, please tell me more. And with that, Gilbert goes into the long story of how we uh, took care of the goblins and, and they baited their castle and told him everything, you know. Um, even the celestial beings, they found he, he leaves out the necklace. The amulet? He doesn't know the, the amulet because he doesn't know if the king would take a claim to it, and he thinks Alex is really liking it. So he just ignores that, but he, but he does mention that the downstairs basement where there's those creatures that they were not able to defeat. Okay. He says, oh, mm, well, you did clear the goblins out uh, as as, uh, as we asked of you. And it is surprising to hear that you've run into having to kill them twice. This is very unnerving. I truly apologize. I did not know you would be having such a time of it. Uh, Surely you will be compensated to uh, to account for this. And he starts like writing th- something down on like a piece of paper. And he sort of looks back up and says, "Now, uh, I believe there was some information that was requested of uh, in exchange for this." Uh, deed that you've done. Yes. Um, and he says, well, I looked into what you've asked me to look into, and I've got some information regarding the individual. Oh, who, excellent. Thank you. Who uh, was the the bane of Hubhole, so to speak. Um, 
Now, I don't know how much you know about the dwarves and our, our way of life and our politics, but this uh, man is named Maldor Bloodcrusher, or I should say was named Maldor Bloodcrusher, of the Orkshorn. He since has had his name changed to Maldor Orkshorn because he was blooded recently into the Orkshorn clan. Uh, now, let me start from the beginning. His name is Maldor, and he was uh, supposed to be scouting Orkish lands to the south, along the mountains, uh, towards the edge of the mountains. Um, he was a relatively inexperienced uh, commander at the time. I have come to learn that he stumbled upon Hapo, and apparently it is not recorded in the history books of the Dwarvish people what has happened there. Uh, but I managed to connect with enough people that were able to tell me what's what. And it seems that uh, he took it upon himself uh, to send word to. Uh, of the village to his superiors. Uh, specifically, he sent word to Baron Orkshorn, B A E R N, Orkshorn. So here's the guy that is his, his superior, and here's the guy who now goes by this name. And Maldor is the guy who, commander who sacked hub hold or whatever um he says he re reported back to Bairn, uh someone i have the displeasure of working with or i have had the displeasure of working with he may be displeasurable to interact with but he is bloodthirsty and knows how to siege a castle i will tell you that uh he Baron was a rising member of the highest family of the Orkshorn, those that bear the name Orkshorn. Uh, and uh, originally, the name was simply a family name. But as I've mentioned, since uh, since the our houses have sort of matured, is the word I'll use, over the past thousands of years, we've come to take the name of the house as the last name when accepted into the highest parts of the clan. And this man, Maldor, did such, uh, such a thing. He was accepted into the Orkshorn. Now, in case you're unaware, the Orkshorn are sort of the war house. They are in charge of the army. They are in charge of uh, everything regarding war in Dwarven culture. Uh, they are very powerful and fierce. You do not want to mess with an orkshaw. Um, when accepted into the house by name, it is as if you are a relative of anyone else with a name, by law. Oh. Um, a ceremony is done, and uh, blood mixes, and it is considered after that that all... Mm -hmm. All with the, the the name are are blood relatives, and so the person you seek now is very powerful. Uh, he he is not just some commander, unfortunately. Um, he's recovered from being chased from Hubhole earlier in his career, by instead uh, he when he was forced to retreat, he took an Orcish encampment. Excuse me. He took an Orcish encampment uh, for new Dwarven territory near Hubhole, uh, drawing the political attention away from his little. No uh, like I said, it's not even in the history books, which is surprising, honestly. They're pretty diligent. Mm -hmm. He told those in charge that any men lost at Hubhole actually died fighting orcs. Uh, now, I'm not of a mind to go mentioning this to my superiors. Uh, let me tell you, I am not 
going to go fighting to get this recorded in any dwarven history book. Uh, but uh, it is worth knowing that it did happen personally. So, in a way, I thank you for bringing this up to me. It's always good to know more about the world. Anyways, hmm. Maldor himself does not regard Hubhole as lost, according to my sources. He sees it as more being, it stopped being worth it to hold your town. He doesn't even talk about it. Uh, he didn't even think it was a battle, apparently. Um, it seems really? like he doesn't. He never cared about it. Perhaps this is his ego speaking, but that is what I know. Oh, I thank you very much for this information. This is, this is a lot more that I I know now that I did did not know, did not know know before. At least now and now I know in what direction I need to um to try and find him in. I'm glad I could be of assistance. Did you receive word about the farms? You sent some scouts when we were last met. Yes, that's correct. I have uh, I have received those scouts back, uh, and what you say it does appear to be true. Uh, the farms are a problem, and I have mentioned it to the king. He agrees that there is a problem with the leadership of the East, and there are things in... And we are doing things that will help to change that leadership. I understand the progress is sometimes slow, but uh, please trust when I say that we are working on it, truly. Is there anything that we can do to help? Maybe expedite the process or just make it easier for you guys? I mean, Aldo is not our most favorite person in the world. No, nor is he mine or anyone else's for that matter. Um... I'm not sure that there's anything that I need from you guys to ensure that that happened. Let me think. Has Mr. Barnabas been in touch with you lately? He... This is Barnabas. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> um, <laughs> has he been... I mean, God, he has damn been... It, Wesley. He been has been touching himself you? recently. Oh, he's he touched himself recently. <laughs> Have you heard any word about the elves? Has your scouts gotten back to you? That's what we just did. That's what Fuck, just did. I'm sorry. <laughs> I am sorry. I was reading something. One more chance. <laughs> One more chance. Well. Do you have another question? Uh, why is my foot in my mouth? <laughs> Alex will uh, tentatively kind of raise his hand to kind of get permission to speak from uh, Barnabas, not trying to be rude since he's not the noble yeah, here he, technically. He waves his hand. Speak, lad. Um, it would be useful if there was more usable land on the island, right? Um, do you think it would be possible to maybe look into um, what exactly is cursed about the forest? Because I mean, the necromancy and stuff was kind of weird. Usually you'd find some kind of person around it, but we didn't. Though um, back when we were exploring a cave at first, they had this weird tablet none of us could really read. And a tapestry. A tapestry? Yeah, it actually what, had a tower on it. Tapestry? Oh no, it doesn't have a tower on it, does it? You no, it doesn't. Very... Oh. It has, um, I think it has a sore, uh, well, let's not think, let's look at the tavern. It just has a few items on it, and like, some glowy beams. But, I mean, if the forest clearing out and like, making the land usable, and the hilllands is something that is of benefit to you, perhaps you could hire us, and we could be paid by you to look into this. Um, if it's not a specific person doing it, there may be a desecrated object or something somewhere that's the source that could be dealt with, but it would probably be hard to find. It's a really large area of land. You are the first people ever to want to go back into the woods after out. 
Well, we wouldn't go back to the woods. We'd probably research a bit before uh, heading back in there. We, uh, those woods were, I mean, very, very rough. If we went in there, it seems like giving us some, some healing supplies would be a, a good investment on your investment. Well, I don't think go we on. need to go into the woods again. We, For we'll now, I think... God. I was just wondering if it would be possible to get some research done with the certain connections you have to figure out if there's any hints on what the nature of the curse might be or where it originates. Hmm. There is much research done at the school in Lake Mont. Um, I could task some scholars on it. Uh... That would that would be appreciated because we all kind of um, in this group benefit from doing these sorts of tasks, whether it's just um, monetary, wanting to do good or um, get a little bit more renown. Mm -hmm. Getting in touch back at your home, maybe you could have them send over books. We're looking to stay in town for a few days at least as well. Maybe do get some downtime. The forest was pretty rough. There were so many crazy things. Like what? Um, well, we fought two chimeras, these giant undead toad beasts. Um, what was the two-headed giant called? Two there was I, a two-headed giant an in Aten. a cave. It was an Aten. Is that what they're mm -hmm. called? And I think so. swarms upon swarms of horrible little creatures like spiders and oh. bugs mm -hmm. and the, the, the snakes. Basement, the basement. Oh. They had hooks. And... Oh, yeah. We went into the basement of that um castle and they had these umber hulks. And behind those, yeah. they had these weird chicken face Shit. things with hook hands they were weird and then i almost got eaten by giant worms i think we should go back and clear out the rest of that because that was interesting oh and there was Maybe those not. there was those plant monsters that um almost ate some of us there's a lot of dangerous things in the forest which is why we're not exactly looking to go back there right away oh there was also the giant snake that bit wesley well, no, that was a small snake. That was a, a lot snake of snakes. Giant spit me a breast. Well, let me tell you this. We have established the town here at Hillsbard, and where this town used to stand was previously woods, and it's going pretty well so far. Technically, according to the ancestors of those who are from here, this land is supposed to be cursed as well, but I haven't seen any issues so far after clearing it out. We've got the goblins, but now that you've taken care of them, we shouldn't have too many issues, should we? Well, if all, there is a curse... All I'm trying to say, all I'm trying to say is that progress <laughs> is slow when it comes to clearing land that's as remote as the hills. And we're doing it, but it isn't worth clearing it all at once. Uh, and that goes for curses and trees. We don't need to necessarily jump the gun. That's not something he would say. Jump the gun. No one knows what a gun guns, is. And I don't call them guns. <laughs> jump the crossbow. We don't, we don't need to jump the bolt. What, jump the bolt. What's happening in town? Why are there sh so many walls being built and people being trained for war? Mm, a good question. Do you remember the list of stuff that almost killed us every day that we just told them about? Probably that. Well, well they're building yes, walls to, to the north, extent. not to the south. Uh, we're building walls all around because armies can move. But we've heard of troop movements up north. Uh, my scouts have reported them to me. That's all. Um, is, we're building is, walls is... for our own protection. This colony is quite close to the the northern the pixies is, is, are we talking about the pixies because i've heard, heard about them weren't oh, they just called the picks i don't think the they were called pixies the pixies. that's good lad i'm gonna use 
Can I roll insight? I, ju I just kind of smile when, when he says that, not realizing that I made, made a joke without realizing it. But I laugh with him. Um, insight for what? What do you want to know? I, like, when we're talking about the tapestry and stuff, do I feel like we can trust this dude? Hmm. Well, trust him how? Like, like, it, it, like when he, we were talking about it, did he seem, like, super interested? Or he was just like, oh, look at these adventurers being all, like heads in the cloud thinking Adventure. yeah like does does he basically do i feel like if i tell him about the sort of dress that it'll screw me in the butt okay go ahead and roll okay so you when when you talked about the tapestry mm -hmm. he was interested um and you kind of diverted the conversation away from it, but he was interested in it. He wanted to. Does he seem to maybe know a little more to us? Like, does do I feel like he's going to screw me over in any way? Um, like when it comes I would, to the amulet. I felt pretty good and, about him before. Yeah, like I do. Yeah, but this stuff is he, like next level important. He's like this um, this guy that you feel like he's always been your like favorite uncle or something he has this way about him that like when you interact with him you always come off feeling like you talk to someone you really uh enjoy talk talking to mm -hmm. um and so he's like very charismatic and he seems to be quite honorable um okay I, uh, he doesn't I seem like he's trying to uh like plot uh to steal some artifact from you or anything like that like he's um he seems to be i don't know how else to say it he seems like a good guy to you okay i like whisper into gilbert's ear should we tell him about the amulet and the sword if there's bad things happening to the north that's where the sword is apparently supposed to be and the amulet is supposed to guide us there i mean it's, i lean it's... over to, to you know, i just basically like i look look at you and i'm like and actually I'm, i want to do, do an insight of my own just to see like you know if i trust just tr trust them period not you know anything yeah. specific just like his demeanor to me and everything you know is is he like you know I don't know, but believable in, in everything. Is he a dwarf or a halfling? <laughs> also, you should probably ask Alex because it's his... I can't really whisper to him because it looks rude. <laughs> um, yeah, You're you just like state like whispering he's... across the room. <laughs> yeah. You definitely feel like he's trustworthy um, as far as like his demeanor towards you. Like you think he likes you and... Uh you probably like him back like he's he's just this guy that seems to have it all figured out um and he seems to have the same interests as you he wants to hurt aldo he wants to um you know he, maybe he's he's a little machiavellian a little bit right like he's he's ready to to hurt other people in order to, to help himself um he's not all good that's for mm -hmm. sure but he hasn't exhibited anything towards Similar you to that extreme you... malice save that again sorry uh he hasn't exhibited malice necessarily no. no he seems to be doing things for either himself or his peoples um and he's very logical uh he seems to to respond well to like your mm -hmm. suggestions you, he, he always seems to be able to back up anything he says um stuff like that very wise charismatic okay so like you know i'll motion for um alex to come forward and to lord and i will whisper him the question um if he wants the necklace to say secret or hidden um i'm sorry to say to you know for me to tell him or for it to to stay secret i think it's probably okay i mean we need allies and mm -hmm. it's best if you have mm -hmm. trust between allies he might be able to even help us with mm -hmm. getting to the sword 
Alrighty, and with that, you know, give not in just a um, little, little, little look at the Kingo. But we also found some other in interesting item and an interesting bit of information. We uh, found this... I will just pull out the necklace as Gilbert says it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, we found this necklace here, and uh, and, I, and I, I like wave my hand towards um, towards Alex as he brings up brings up the necklace. Seems to be a pretty interesting thing. It's a th thing of magic. It helps everyone who's good, and it pretty much hurts you if you're not good. Um, I um, actually uh, still have a book of notes on it, so I'll pull that out and mm -hmm. hand it to him. Mm -hmm. it's also and if he asks any right? questions, and a bit of inf a bit of interesting information is. Um, there is, because uh, we found this item on a tapestry, which we didn't bring with us because the thing's huge. It's back in the tavern. Uh, but it mentions several other items on there. One of the items is 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 a sword. Um, and it's supposed to be and it's supposed to be to, to the north in the Pixies area. Um, and now I say Pixies that's sarcastic, you know, so he gets the joke. Yeah. In the far Pixies the north, area. The far, far to the north. Came. And Basically, I was kind of curious if you have heard any information about uh, what may be going on up there. And us going into the Pixie's land, is that going to yeah. screw things up for you? It, it was called the Sword of Dressed. When you say that, he says, this is a lot of information. Uh, I got a bit of a vision slash dream or whatever from an angel. I didn't know his name because he was pretty... He was intimidating, and you usually don't ask those kind of beings their names. But he kind of told me that this sword would somehow help restore stability. And um, this yes. necklace kind of acts like a compass that points towards it. Yes, the sword I have heard of, uh, it belonged to a great king far to the north who lost the battle uh, to a king to the south, which is why the border lays where it is today. Do you know um, what kind of sword it is? It's rumored that the sword is extremely powerful and that it can take the form of any weapon that the, the wielder desires. That sounds like a very special sword. It that takes, sounds very interesting indeed. It takes quite the the warrior to wield it you need a extremely strong force of will very strong conscious and the ability to withstand you know great uh sums of magical power it is something one does not wield <laughs> as he says this gambles smile just gets bigger and bigger like yeah i can do this can <laughs> yeah wesley this looks at thrust he looks at gilbert he looks at alex Looks back at Thrust, the back at Alex and Gilbert, and he's like, oh. It all, like, both Gilbert and Thrust in their own heads are like, yeah, I can do that. Yeah. <laughs> Alex is just kind of thinking, that's a really neat sword. <laughs> he says, he's not thinking anything else, it's just, the sword's neat. <laughs> he says, so he sees all your, like, you know, big eyes and smiling faces, and he, now, I do smiling. not know myself. It's just a neat sword. I do not know myself whether any of you or anyone in this realm would be able to wield that sword. However, what I can say is that if anyone can, having it would certainly make a an impending war with the North a lot better than if I would be willing to send you on a quest to get me this sword. If, as you say, there is a great conflict coming, which I do agree with having this sword on the side of the cell would be a very big bonus it would be a huge swing in the tide of our ability to fight i mean gilbert don't we think these items are connected to something. Yeah, they're we... not individual things. I, yeah, I feel like yeah, the amulet and the sword have to be together, and I don't necessarily feel comfortable splitting them. You know, mm. like he thinks for a second. He says, "Yes, I understand." Off with 
their heads. We, we, we like, we want to help you, Barnabas, and we're going to go for this sword no matter what. We could perhaps help you in the upcoming war, but I don't know if we're willing to give you the sword. I'm just, I just kind of want to do whatever is right with it. I imagine I might get some more guidance once we find it. Mm. I see. Well, I agree that you should do whatever is right. And you, if, if what's right is to give that sword to me, you will know. And if what's right is to keep it, you will know. Trust in your gods. He sees, like, you know, your religion. Trust in your gods. If they've sent you on a quest to get this sword, then they'll send you on a quest to give it to the right person or wield it yourself. Gilbert nods in, in agreement. You could keep that book to read it, to read about it, though, a little bit. I... I finished it. I kind of have notes back of it since I had to decode it a bit. Well, thank you. I will uh, oh. I will read over this and have the scholars read over it if that's okay. That's Wesley fine. I think you're trustworthy. Puts his uh, most of his arm into his brand new bag and fishes around, pulls out those three really old books that no one's really been able to make sense of. Um, if you're sending word to some scholars, uh, these might be, I, I don't know, I mean, they're, they're really old. We, we haven't really been able to make sense of them. Maybe they're interesting, maybe they're, I don't know, just talking about grain. Hmm. Okay, I will send these along as well. Maybe they can make some sense of them too. You said you found them in the castle. Uh, the, these are the, the things from the castle that didn't get burnt in the fire. The fire? There was a fire. We, they, we didn't mention that. Whoever put the books and papers there didn't really want folk reading them, and by happenstance, these were taken out of the room before it happened. I'm sorry, what the fuck are you guys talking about? The explosion. Uh, the... These books were in the desk, I believe, but the papers and stuff oh. that were left in the room when they opened the secret apartment burnt. So. I thought that you grabbed the books from the upstairs in the wizard's room. The wizard ass, technically. Hilia Garish. Or I thought we did too. Is that where... That's where you got the books. Yeah, I think, yeah. Now that I think that. You also Everything in that room, room was just destroyed with a uh, fireball. Okay, yeah. I don't remember. But either way, he we takes did the books. Go through them. Uh, we, we did go the room through there and pick uh, out the interest. Right, that's what oh, I'm trying oh. to figure out. Yeah, there was yeah. the bookshelf yeah. that hid the um, passage to get to the ring and the right. beans, which right. kind of got burned, but some of the books were so okay. Okay, so he takes any books you want to give him and says, "I will pass these along over back to Lake Mont to the scholars. We will see what they have to say." If you wanted to, you would be welcome to go there yourselves and speak with them. Uh, otherwise, I will let you know when they give you back if you are still in town. Though I expect it will be some time. I don't think we're going anywhere for a while. I think... Yeah, not for a few days at least. Yeah, we need to do our own research. And Wesley here needs some time to himself. Research on what is it that you are trying to... Well, we need Learn. to know where to go for this sword, and we need to know if it's dangerous. I mean, if people are... If your scouts we, are seeing armies, we don't want to run into the middle of an army that's out to get us, we, you know? We we basically need to know what's going on in the north, as much information as possible before, before we proceed. Yes. Uh, very good, very good. I can give you information that you seek on the northern troop movements. And he, like, points to a map uh, on his desk. And... and he says... There is some things. But there's a border crossing here, he says. And he says, now I don't know where the sword is necessarily. 
but there's supposedly a town here. We don't necessarily know that for sure. Uh, they're not as civilized as we are down there. So if you do go up there, you may not find exactly what you expect. Uh, we put a town on this map because we believe it to be there, but we don't know. Um, now, according to our troop movement uh, scouts, the ones who are reporting back to us, we have seen movement to the far side over here. Uh, you might be on the GM layer. Fuck. To the far side over here. And some troops to the west of this border crossing here by the town above the hills. So as long as you stay to the east of the border crossing, I would imagine you to be okay if you were to go north. What's the coast like? Could we go up the coast? The coast, well, he mentioned there were troop movements. Over oh, there. it was at the coast, was it? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But uh, he also says, you know, the coast is unfortunately not a sunny beaches and shores it's mostly cliffs and uh rocks honestly uh, it would not be as nice mm. to travel up as near the river um i i have maybe but like what are the pickish like because i mean none of us are really from this island i mean like could we pass off as just travelers would they yeah. kill on sight Mm. Travelers do not necessarily always go that far north. I personally do not know many merchants who are willing to do business up there, but more and more trade does make its way up there as they adopt coinage, mm. like the rest of the kingdom down here. Um, they are supposedly a bit more barbaric, but... I personally have not seen this myself, so I do not know if I trust all of those stories. Do they speak common, at least, do you know of? Well, I guess they wouldn't really know, would they? I would say it's my understanding that they speak something close to common, but it may not exactly be the same as you and I. It seems to me oh, the best bet would, would be to follow the cliffs to the west along that river and then a lot, lot along the forest. That um, is what it, I would do. We could do that. In the um, in the vision, it did say the sword was supposed to be in a cave to the north, so I guess we're oh. looking for a cave. Also, hmm. you guys are just setting up for defense. You're not going to invade the Pictish territory, correct? They're the uh, bad guys in this situation. They're invading you, right? Absolutely. Uh, although we have, and I say this with uh, an understanding that this does not leave this room, we mm -hmm, have considered attacking them preemptively in order to defeat their forces before they can truly muster them all. And I have to admit, I don't like the idea of it, but we would gain a lot of territory in that sort of a, an ordeal should we win but they, they were the one i'm you go go ahead they, they were he the like ones stops. who started assembling forces first that is correct they instigated all of this until our our scouts told the uh, told us of troop movements can i but if that? you win will there will, will there be enough will will we have enough men left over to hold that the territory we gain you can incite that the, it, it seems kind of everyone's invading everywhere and this is kind of a new town and it's awfully close to theirs uh, I prefer the 20 <laughs> I mean they could um, just be reacting to Hillsbard being a town but still if this was forest before it wasn't actually their territory they don't have any rights to do that no but I mean the old into the elves place and the elves into everyone else's place place and the humans needed to move out of their place because there wasn't enough room and then we, they, they fought everything in the forest I mean everyone's kind of invading everywhere and all you can do is try if, to if that makes sense if someone's invading you though you're not just going to let them do it you kind of have to defend yourself 
if you're able. Yeah. Well, I agree with you. And so I prepared, uh, I prepared to, um, to, I've prepared to defend us from any attacks to the north, should they happen. Okay. Uh, additionally, you may have heard that we've had a couple of run-ins with pirates down south uh, attacking mm -hmm. Gunsoul. Then uh, the city itself. The city itself, oh, actually. I thought I thought it was just just your merchant ships. I heard about the merchant ships. Then I realized they're attacking the city itself. Those mm -hmm. bastards. Perhaps this happened while you were gone. The the docks were attacked. Um, they came in. They attacked the docks. Killed a few civilians, unfortunately. And uh, when by the time that the city guard assembled in enough force to be able to take them on, um, they had already burned many ships, many docks, and even a warehouse full of grain. Mm. Um, we've we've since had to be much more on guard, and trade has all but stopped to Dunsol. He says like this gravely. I look I look over to Thrust and look back at him and go, "Did Aldo survive?" <laughs> he laughs. Yes, Aldo was nowhere near the dock. I've mm -hmm. only heard of a few uh, a few casualties. Um, some it? some women were uh, dragged off. Um, and many elves left the city with pirates. Willingly? Willingly. If we... If there's no ships coming to and from the island, we're trapped here. Yes, we are. Is is anyone doing anything oh. about this? Is the king... Is the he... king is slow to react to these things. Uh, he is listening to my counsel when I have told him to raise forces to go west uh, and to root them out of lands to the west before they can take hold even more and invade Dunsol for good. But also, as you know, you can't just take your army and up and leave the city that's being attacked. So we are preparing. Uh, and as you see here, you know, there is more happening across the realm as we prepare for war against those who seek to do us harm so you, to the north and to the south you have an army to the south and you don't have any means of escaping the island uh, sorry an army to the north and you don't have any means of escaping the island if they do break your mm. lines are the pixies known to work with pirates it seems kind of um convenient that all of a sudden you have an enemy to the north and then all of a sudden you get attacked to the south i mean our business is to the north no matter what but it seems like this island is in a lot of trouble. Yes, and Wesley and has grown, but he will. Uh, he will ask him. Uh, did he send anyone to Dunsel every now and then? I, I've, I've got a friend down there, and if there was a fight, she might have gone up to try to help. And I want to make sure she's safe and didn't get dragged off. Well. I have many uh, diplomats that travel here from Dunsol and to Dunsol. I myself have visited the city recently, and uh, I know not about your friend, but uh, I do know that it is mostly together, much less trade. The city is still alive. Uh, and you the local people got dragged off, I thought. I did say that. That doesn't mean the whole city got dragged off. She's, she's really little. She'd be easy to drag. I mean, she bites a lot, though. Oh, okay. Well, either way, we are working on the problem of the pirates to the south. Unfortunately, it is going rather slowly, and I'm becoming frustrated. Uh, I fear that Lord Aldo, as you know, is always being a nuisance, attempting to take more responsibility uh, 
on when he cannot manage his responsibilities so far. But he uh, was recently stripped of some of his power by the king, thanks to some of your work. Uh, and uh, and uh, a ruckus at one of his farms recently uh, that went south. Uh, fortunately, I hear that it was contained, but um, things like that that can start a rebellion, you know? If you had a rebellion, an army to the north, and pirates to the south, you would be screwed. Exactly. We're trying to do our best to not have all three of those things at once. Now, I will, uh, I will say, Pictish armies to the north are not as large as maybe they might have sounded when I said troop movements. Um, they are something we can handle by themselves. Uh, pirates as well are something we can handle by themselves. But you are right. All of these things at once are not good. We are sending diplomats to the north as well to uh, handle them. Um, well, but I guess each hmm. thing uh, in time. Um, is there anything else that you need to tell us, or anything anyone wants to ask Barnabas? I mean, we we're not leaving town for at least a week. So if there's anything that you need, we'll be here. Okay. Well, I will be certain to reach out should I need to ask you any more questions, have more information for you, and you can feel free to do the same of me. Excellent. Thank well, you. <laughs> and, with right. that, I, and with that, I stand up and, and um, shake farm sand that's and thank you very much, good sir. And thank you very much for the for for the information on the general. You you wrote something on the note as we entered. Um, seemed to be about us or in relation to what we did. He, he looks at you and goes, "Yes, I have to report such things to the king when we have a success in the woods, or rather the hills. Ah. It is." of the kind of importance that I have to go and mm. tell others. Good, good. I was just curious. Yeah. Thank you. Now, except, except for the very bottom level, that whole thing could be re really good to put men in. That is uh, a good suggestion, Lord Deepolo. But um, if unfortunately, it is quite far away. Did it? It, it, was, it was no Billis Minda, wasn't it? Us. That's that's our group name, by the way. No, Nobilish Menda. Oh, that's what you're calling Wesley. yourself nowadays. Uh, Wesley came up with it because he he read a lot of stuff, fancy really, words. Really, really strong. Yeah, that's, that's us. Wonderful. Never die. That that's our motto. I don't know. We get really close a lot. Never, never even come close. Not not once. That that's <laughs> not true. You got you almost got killed in your sleep by a giant. Well, regular size snakes. We don't need to talk about this in front of Barnabas. It's fine. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Barnabas. Uh, you're a very honorable, beautiful dwarf. We're going to go now. I, I think it's very more... beautiful dwarf. He just, like, stands <laughs> there, like, okay. I, don't you? Uh, I just you usually back. call person handsome. No, I mean in, like, oh, his character. His character is very beautiful. He's very kind yeah. and gentle soul, but also I very just, strong. Is I'm I'm talking too much. I think I should probably go yeah. now. Thank you. Yeah. Overstayed. I will. I just looked at Bar Barnabas and be like, "Good help. Don't have very good, you know, words and stuff." So uh, yeah, we're we're bad with people. Once regular, he we're, laughs we're bad with, people. with his great big Santa laugh. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> well, time it was to walk good away before we make him an enemy. <laughs> I will, I will be sure to reach out should I have a need for any more assistance, uh, and you can bet that I probably will. Let me go over my papers, and I'll reach out to you within a few days if uh, anything comes up. And we'll be sure to let you know if we do 
when we do head north. Thank you. I appreciate that. Excellent. And I wait and... for Gilbert to leave and I follow him. Yep, I will just leave after that and just um, walk on out of there. Wonderful. I will. Um, okay. So you you leave the um, okay. So you leave the uh, the town hall, and it's quite dark at this point. You've been talking for quite some time. And, yeah. Uh, um, how do we tap the town hall? I guess I guess we we would go back to the um. Uh, tavern. Yeah, it's it's quite dark uh, outside. Nobody's left in town hall, uh, and the um, the temple's quiet as you walk by, and you end up going back to uh, the tavern, like you said. And as you get towards the market, it becomes a little more lively. You hear the shit of your tavern is making all sorts of noise. There's some bar fight outside, and. You, as you walk past the stable towards yours, it's much nicer. Uh, and you walk in uh, to it a is large. Is the crowd shittier here. an adjective or the noun? Like the capital V shittier no, it's, tavern? It's an adjective. <laughs> it's not a proper noun. Um, yeah, you, so you hear. I'd like to give you one more piece of information. Um, that you would have known before we cut off um the puddles is gone no i'm here okay you're back all right so as you're in your tavern you're sort of settling in a little bit maybe you're having having a drink um you overhear something specifically wesley and lyra will overhear um some talk uh by the hearth um in the in the tavern and you hear an elf and uh, a human discussing matters relating to the farms. And so the, the human is like sort of offended. Uh, he's taking it, this tone of like defensiveness and the elf is saying things that are maybe can be taken as like accusatory. And so the, the elf is suggesting, you know, oh, it's people like you hurting my people and you can you you know you can't hold us down you can't hold us down we're gonna we're gonna take what's ours and the human is saying who is you who like i don't know what you're talking about and like you know he's not all humans are are that way we don't all want you to you know be slaves just because some other human wants this doesn't mean i do and the the elf is you know not taking bullshit and he he says, I heard that one of the farms has already had a rebellion. One of the farms already had a rebellion, and it failed, says the human guy. It's not like you can just change the way things work, okay? I can't just go out there and wave my cock around and everything just changes. <clears throat> and the elf, the elf guy goes... And he's, he's like, he's giving this look of like, what does that even mean? And he says, I don't know what cock means. Yeah. And he says, well, let me tell you. First, it was one rebellion. Next, it will be 10. And just because the idiots who did it got caught doesn't mean that it won't happen successfully the next time. Aldo can't keep them down forever. And that's what you hear. This was Wesley and Lyra who heard it? Yeah. Yes. Hmm. So he was like... Uh... He, he, his line was humans hate elves and elves will rise up is that a... pretty much he was saying like you know oh there's you can't keep us all down like you know we are a, a, we're meant to be a free people and like all that good kind of thing and Aldo can't keep um, us down 
I can uh, just uh, uh, I can... excuse me. Um, I, I'm under the impression that all humans and all elves, all tieflings, is that true? Hate all tieflings? Is that what you said? Yeah. And the human goes, well, I don't know about all of us, but I sure do. Oh. And he, like, gives oh, you a look. I, I'm trying to help you out there, sir. I was trying to prove you weren't, like, being a racist piece of shit. Never mind. <laughs> I'm just gonna go Let's walk give me a way out. and lastly Another... put two hands on his shoulders and kind of just turn him around and walk him away. Another elf says, "Hey, hey, I, what I did hear though is that it was a couple of humans who started the the actual uh, rebellion. I heard it was two humans and an elf. Was it fucking Conduin? Was it?" I, I know. I, I think it was. I think it was that, was that guy, which Wait. we paid what, to do. What did you? What did you say, Jim? <laughs> the, the, the human who was like being an ass is like, well, yeah, but they got caught, and now they're in a cell down in Riverhead. Shows what Riverhead. you get for trying to change it. So two two humans and an elf. We're in Riverhead, right? No, you're in Hillsbard. Oh, Riverhead. Oh. Riverheads to the south. That's where Aldo is. It's the next town. It's like well, the eastern. It, at least they didn't get themselves killed. Oh, well, we have to go I'll shave go. them. I, be dead by yeah, me. I don't think they'll. They probably won't be executed. They're just probably gonna sit in a cell for a while. Do you, do you know do you any details about the revolution? I'm, Alex is kind of <laughs> just talking to himself, and I guess Wesley or. Gilbert, whichever one's standing closer to him. Okay. Um, Actually, at this point, Gilbert goes up to the bartender and asks him for some, like, if he has any, like, quill and ink and par and parchment paper. The bartender looks at you and goes, I got ale. Mm. I, I've got that, Mr. Gilbert. Okay. So, like, I take it from you and I go and I just um, go, go upstairs to my room and you just see me write down in, in ink how to start a rebellion. <laughs> Step one, piss off Aldo. Oh my god, dares to write a fucking manifesto. Step two. <laughs> uh, Alex, oh, we're, uh, we, we have to shave yeah, Conduin. Yeah, yep, yeah, I, yep. Yeah, it's, yeah. I, I, They're not in the jail that because it's of us. Not it's Conduin. But we don't know for sure it's Conduit, but it's, it's definitely Conduit. We need to find out <laughs> yeah. first before we go to Riverhead and try to save him. But, like, isn't your whole deal with your god that you'd rather be in jail rotting than somebody who's innocent? That, yeah, I I really need to go fix that. He, I, he's kind of dumb, but he's should. not a bad person. But in terms of, like, legality, I mean, he did start a rebellion on his lands, which... Is yeah. against his law. I'm not saying it's right. I'm not saying it's right. But we already know that what Aldo was doing is wrong, like legally. West, Wesley, I I really can't let someone just sit and rot in a prison and possibly die when they were trying to do the right fault. thing. Especially if I had paid them to. I mean, I only paid him to scout and gain information, but he was doing trying Maybe to do a good thing, so I can't I really. I you gave him so much platinum that they just decided to free the elf. I, we, if I do that, do a jail we'll break. be outlaws. <laughs> no, I, we won't. I think I may have. We won't get caught. We have to. We have to break them out, and if we have to break the law to do it, I'm okay with that. If everyone else is. Oh. Yeah. I, 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 I go upstairs. Cool with that. <clears throat> uh. I go upstairs, I mix up my gunpowder, and I would like to tinker a, uh, a new mold for my pistol so I can make hollow points. I mean, how hard could it be uh, breaking into I'm immediately preparing. I mean, we've got a week or so here. We, like, let's, let's um, research. Well, it. I guess it depends on the quality of prison, but it, usually it's not too hard for these types of areas. Usually their jails and prisons are kind of dinky. And the guards are pretty lazy because not that many people commit crimes. I've, uh, I have ideas. I have ideas. 
I can try and look up the basic setup for prisons in this area. I don't know how successful I'll be, but I can try. I think that would be a good idea, Lyra. Hmm. Okay. Of course. I'll do that tomorrow then. Conduin is. <clears throat> Come on, we can't kill one of Jim's favorite NPCs. Yeah, we need to. And by that, him. I mean we can't let Jim kill one of his favorite NPCs. <laughs> <laughs> the sword has been sitting in a cave for a thousand years or whatever. It can wait another I mean, few weeks. So, did we ever find well, out Aldo's well, last name? Well, for the thing there. is, say we if we go there, we can possibly head south more after, and maybe get a. Deal with the pirates and then get a ship and just kind of sail around the island and then land on the north. Wasn't it all cliffs though? We couldn't do the coast. Is it impossible to do the coast? Thun said the coast dude going north was all cliffs. Yeah. Yeah, that's what he said. Uh, the that was to the to the east to the west. There's more shores there's still cliffs but there's mm. definitely more like shore i mean um, what do, if we go down there and break these guys out they are going to be we have to t we could talk to barnabas because we need someone to hide like these yeah. guys can't get off the island there's no boats going they have to be hidden somewhere from aldo i mean if he if these guys started a rebellion aldo is probably really pissed at them and he still holds a lot of power in this island he could we, we, we need someone powerful on our side all of a sudden you guys see see me running down the stairs going guys i found this just in my room all by itself and i and i hand a piece of paper to you for us it says how to start the rebellion there's like 16 steps and, I, and on the bottom it signs aldo and whatever his last name is <laughs> <laughs> Are we starting a rebellion? No, but apparently he is. I... I don't know what All to right. do. Let's just for... Just for fun, let's see how good my deceiving skills were on that. <laughs> pretty... Pretty high. What are you deceiving? <laughs> I, I just wrote a uh, how to start your, a rebellion with like 16 steps and I signed out his name at the bottom. Um, I mean, that, that... I, I am not going to roll because I just gave you that piece of paper and that quill and I see a little bit of ink on your hand. <laughs> if you can't eat oatmeal without it getting in your hair, you can't write without ink getting on your hands. Where did you get that? Killed it. in my room. This is the smoking gun we me. need. I'm. What's a gun? I don't know. I don't and know why anymore. Would it be smoking? I mean, if we take this piece of paper to Barnabas, <laughs> this is all the information that we need to get all hey, the. Thrust. I'm pretty sure Gilbert wrote that. No, it's it's signed Aldo right here. <laughs> Gil Gilbert signed it. Aldo thrust. Where? Neither of us are really that good at reading people, but I think you might sometimes forget that Gilbert does things like that and can then say it with a very, very straight face. I, I do know that, actually. Why would my face be crooked? Doesn't everybody speak with a straight face? Like that. He's, he's, kind of good, at, he's good at that kind of thing. Well, maybe we should all sleep oh. on it and decide what oh. we're going to do in the we morning. We can make copies of this and, and hands it out, and then Aldo would be in big trouble. I, I don't know if that will work, Gilbert. Well, Not everyone's as gullible as gonna send out, If we're going to send out pamphlets, we should do something catchier, like say no to Aldo. I think that would just end up getting us in trouble to the okay. point that Barnabas might not be able to help us further. And Barnabas said that things are already in place to make Aldo lose his power. I don't really think we should screw that up. That's why this jailbreak is probably going to be a bad idea, but I think that we should still do it. I feel like maybe 
we could talk to Barnabas about it to see if he could have any pull with it. I don't know. There might be some way to go about this to help them without, you know, having to break into jail. Well, maybe we should, yeah, maybe we should talk to Barnabas in the morning and see if there's, I mean, we don't even know if it is Conduin. If it is, then we have to do something about it, I think. They they might have gotten a bit too full of themselves after being handed weapons. I might, yeah. I probably should have done that. We spent a lot of money just now, but we still have, like, comparatively a lot of money compared to a lot of people. Maybe we could just, like, slit someone some coin? We don't have to kill anybody? I wasn't That's planning on killing anybody. Possible. I mean, yeah, not... Why were you thinking we were going to kill people, Wesley? Because I know it's not going to work out right, and when it doesn't work out right, when you're breaking people out of jail, it gets violent. I read... Wesley, you know you can, you know you, know you can knock people out, right? I, I kind of thought you were supposed to be the less bloodthirsty person here. I, I think I've I don't misjudged like you. People touching me, and I can't knock someone out with this thing. Wesley, and I wouldn't do well in prison. You're, hold, you're, you're holding a weapon when you say this thing. I mean, Wesley, we, we all have issues, so don't take this personally, but. You, you have issues. <laughs> yeah, I, I invented a whole type of weapon just to keep people from fucking with me. Yeah, well, I... T since, hey, since, since watch your language. Believes, since, since nobody believes that that Gilbert found that, that, that out already, he takes from thrust, so, and he walks past the bar, and he lays it on the bar and just hurries up to his room giggling. <laughs> Oh my god, I just realized a crazy, crazy, crazy combination. What? Hexblade's Curse and Magic Missile. Well, Magic <sighs> Missile can't miss anyway, so what would Hexblade's Curse do? It does plus It does plus three damage to every damage roll. Oh, nice. <laughs> That's such a bad combination. Pretty dope. Isn't it just the first hit? No, or it's, is every, that it's advantage every, on it's every damage... Every damage roll. So, for example, uh, let me do this. Uh, this, uh, so this is going to be plus 18. This damage plus 18. What level is it? That was level 6. So I would have done 21, I would have done 39 damage with that attack, if I had Hexblade Scarce on him. Level 6? Yeah. It has 7 charges. Oh, so that would be like one time? Yeah, I could only do that once, yeah. And then it would regain charges based off. What yeah, I can do it I can do it at seventh is. level if I want, but then there's a chance that the I thought you had to be able to cast I thought yeah. I thought you had to be able to cast the level that you were casting it. Like I thought you had to have a spell slot uh, that level. Nope. No, with a wand you just explain charges. Oh, okay. I think that's like the like it, I but doesn't it work like scrolls? Like if you don't have a high enough spell slot, you um, still has rolled it to see if it works. Nope, it's not a scroll. It's a wand. So wands automatically hit, and you don't have to have the uh, skill. Wands level don't level. automatically hit, but magic missile does. Well, and I this just, is a wand. Well, magic well, 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 I meant that if, that if that if that if level one person found like a level eight wand, they could still use it even if this even if they don't have a spell level. Yep. Yeah. That's this. That's the. Yep. That's what the wand does. There. Yeah, that's. Wands are. Broken. Wands are basically the magic for dummies. Just press the button. I mean, only spellcasters can use it. Like you guys can't use the wand. Don't tell me hey, I can't I use cast the wand. Spells. Um, sorry to get distracted there, but I just realized that is crazy. Um. Uh, do you know how many charges it has? It has roll? it has seven charges and it regains one d six plus one in the morning. Oh, okay. That's pretty nuts. Yeah, it's good for a one time use. Oh, this oh yeah it says um if you expend the one's last charge roll of d twenty on a one the one crumbles into ashes. Yeah. So that's kind of that's yeah. kind of kind of annoying. It's only twenty percent. A lot of wands are like that these days. Only five percent. Well, this the. One of the web is the same. But Anyways. if you just never use the last charge, then you don't have to worry about it. 
Anyway. So uh, you guys have, have a lot to think on. Can, um, is it okay if we do to the next morning and I pick up my potions and pay for them? Yeah, just fine. so I remember. That's fine. Okay. It is a, uh, a is a twelve tinker is tools enough for me to make a new mold overnight. And you did just want to do what? what? Did like, do any... you want to put dust of dryness inside? It, it, it's just a mold to be casting lead into. Just a negative to pour molten lead into. That's, that's hollow. Like, I mean, like, sure. Yeah. Uh, I just any... do that and make my gunpowder. Okay. Cool. Did anybody find my poster I left on, on the bar, bar last night and believe it? I don't know. I feel like we would have... Al, start a rebellion. <laughs> Step one, piss off Aldo. Step two, piss off Aldo! <laughs> uh, Alex will... Uh, can Alex and Lyra just share a room so they could be reading buddies? It's like one of them starts falsely. <laughs> no, go back to reading your book. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Yep, yeah, Alex is going to start reading his codex. Lyra can read her Agam Apocrypha. Okay. We also have to attune to our items, guys. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. I would attune to my item th throughout the night. And my, Same. And my shield. Same. Okay. Keep keep track of how, how many hours you are spending on reading. Uh, what time is it currently? Mm, late at night. Eight. Okay. So we'll read for pretty much all night. So I guess except how long it takes to attune. Up, an hour, I think. Short rest. Should take an hour, yeah, I think. Okay. But you I'm... can do minor activities while you're short resting, like read a book. Correct. I feel like these books are kind of Yeah, but when you're attuning yeah. you, you have to pay attention to the th Yeah. Uh, okay, so one hour to attune to the trident. Does the plus one shield require the attunement as well? Yes. Okay, so just attune to those two. Not going to do the net just yet. And then spend 10 hours, maybe get up at 8 I, I, I to just... uh, read the book. <laughs> Gilbert just sits, sits, sits there in his room for an hour, staring with one eye at the one eye on the shield. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Great. Doing, doing a staring contest on it to, to see which one blinks first. Everyone... How many, uh, has got like these magic weapons and magic items and Wesley's a level six fighter with no attuned items and just studded leather armor and a short sword. Yeah, but you do so, uh, damage, so this, I know, this I know. Is... It's just like <laughs> Are you that's level funny. Six? Never level five. Uh level five. Yeah, level five. Six. I'm counting myself as level six say, because we're yeah, so close. Yeah. How do you get to level six? We are ridiculous. So levels. close. So so the the codex also requires Forty hours or whatever. Yeah, it's gonna be forty hours for both of you. So just like, keep track. Like two days, I think. Okay. Just because I'm curious, what should it wait? Can I glimpse what it might be about from the first few pages, real quick? Uh, I can't hours. tell you. I can't tell you the bonus until you. Like I can't I tell just you what it does. Like you. what it's like. What the read is like. Not necessarily what the uh, bonus is. Just uh, like okay, what okay. the hell's being talked about in the first few pages. So the, which one do you have? Uh, I have the Codex of Musamo, which that's, we got from the Eden's that's Cave. That's the combat-oriented one. No, that's the. No, that was the Elvish one. Yeah, I just I just have the Codex of Musamo, the not the Agama Apocrypha. Yes. Uh, yes, this one is very interesting to you uh it has to do with uh talking about a little known god um you're getting a lot of like interesting lore surrounding this god and um, like gods like the old gods of this place um yeah so it's a lot of like older gods of of the island like ancient gods um, gods no one believes in anymore. Cool. That that's definitely an interesting book for Alex. So, yep. Assuming we get up at around eight in the morning to start doing adventuring bullshit, Alex is just going to read for ten hours. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
same. Mm. Okay, Jim, I do have a qu question for you on my mm -hmm. war pony. Uh, would he would he have gotten an ability increase at l l level four? No, I don't think we did that for. That's for only for like rangers. Okay, I was just yeah. curious. I thought I thought that I would just ask. Yeah, I didn't think so. Um, one other thing I would mention is that after you attune to your sword, Lyra, you, uh, you feel like you've been missing this sword for like a long time. Like you really like this sword a lot, um, and you're really happy to have it. And by the time you're done reading, you have this feeling of like you never want to be apart from the sword ever again. <laughs> can You're just... in love with your sword. I, we forgot. Can... It's your sword, mate. <laughs> the, the bow is replaced by the sword. Um, also, can we get Gilbert to attune to the griffin oh, I... and say the special word? Oh. We forgot to do that. It's the special yeah. word. Super I, yeah, I can I can attune to the Griffin on the first night instead of the actual um uh, instead of shield. You, you can attune to multiple things if you take multiple short rests. Oh, can you? Okay, then yeah, yeah, just one then at I, a time. Then I then I do both. I do, do the shield first, and after my, my eye contest and be confident that that's on the winner, I would get up and just like just like you know just stare intently at the at the Griffin going, "Come on, get bigger." So if he says the the fly, does it activate? What's your uh, name? Where What's are your you name? do this? In, um, you should probably go outside. <laughs> well, okay, yeah, I would probably um one, I would probably go outside somewhere um outside outside of the um isn't there like a little back here? I I noticed there's like a yard back here. Yeah, people seem to keep like horses back there, and it's like a little bit of a kind of like. Okay, then I would probably go back. Back, back here to attune to the shield and the um, and the griffin. I'm just there for the griffins are going. Come on, come on. What's your name? Okay, T tell there, me your name. There's a fountain back there, uh, and there are people who walk by occasionally. Um, and you, you say the word that's on the piece of paper. Mm -hmm. Piece piece of paper. Fly. God damn oh. it, right. It's in the grid loop. If it wasn't for puddles, Jesus Christ! Slip of paper says "fly" in an arcane language. Oh, okay. Because I thought they gave us like the a piece of paper, but I didn't think it had um. Show like on it. read this word, Gilbert, and it's like yeah, like flabooble. Puddles is like helping you very, very, like trying to just get you to do this simple thing. Okay, I take the piece of paper, and for the hour, I keep saying the. The capuch. It takes me a full hour to get the to get the name just <laughs> right. Yeah. So by the end, you say it just right, and before you, your very eyes, yeah, flabble boo 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 boo. Um. Uh, before your very eyes, a griffin grows out from the statue and makes a loud cawing sound, and then kind of like sits before you, looking at you intently. I'm just oh, like, yeah. and it's, it's huge. huge. And I just like it's it's so big. I, and like, uh, someone walks out of one of like the buildings nearby and like sees it and screams, ah! and like this woman like runs away. I, I like I like look at her, then I'm like that look back to him. I forget it, and I just walk up to him, you know, and I just like give his legs a hug. So, to my knowledge, a lot of those uh figurines of power or whatever after you use them they have like a blank amount of time cooldown like summer hours summer days etc yeah i hate to say this but i kind of peaked i think the griffin is fine <laughs> yeah. we all <laughs> we all peaked don't it, we yeah. all did it don't so, we? Like, lots, so like i will actually like after that i'll get on the grid try to get on the griffin's back and just like Go and say and say, let's go flying. Okay. Gilbert's out there flying on a griffin, freaking out townsfolk, yeah, making the, them the hate us even more. Are, like, 
scrambling and they're like trying to see what's going on and like if you're gonna keep dying they're probably gonna try to shoot at you oh, oh well Guild edge, well come i'm gonna down. have I'm like i look i i'm like look, look, looking around as a screamer i'm going what are they worried about it's just me gilbert the great you feel like you are totally free flying through the air on this like griffin that is obeying your every command uh, it is truly something. You probably have never felt this free in your entire. You guys, uh, okay. This is what's going on. That's okay, okay. You guys know the scene from Harry Potter where the guy's like has his hands up in the air on that Griffin's back. That's what <laughs> yeah. Gilbert's doing right now. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I, I, I'd, I'd rather imagine Gilbert just kind of climbing to stand on its head and doing the "I'm the King of the World" <laughs> moment. <laughs> That's what I figured. I'm imagining that, but he's shooting off firebolt fireworks into the sky. <laughs> At, next next day in town, you hear all the common folk talking about this crazy guy who was just going, like, this crazy evil halfling sorcerer who was terrorizing the town. But suddenly he vanished. Yeah, you definitely are going to get a lot of attention. And the guards, if you're over the city for more than... 10 minutes they're gonna shoot at you well i'm not well um more than likely um since griffins can fly far and fast i would just like point in that random direction and have me and have them fly fly me that way okay so you fly out away how long are you gonna be gone how yeah well player knowledge i know it lasts for six hours uh, character knowledge. Would I you guys know never met a game. Longer? You would never met a game. Would would I even didn't know? use it. <laughs> now, okay. So basically, I would stay out with them until I felt like, until like you know, God, knowing my luck, since nobody ever mentioned a time limit, I'm just gonna gonna fly for maybe about several hours. Eight hours. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Gilbert, I'll, I'll, six hours in one minute. I will no. probably fly for like for like. The, for like the the limit and it'll be Jim's choice of how close I am to the city when it gives out. Oh, <laughs> like, how Gil close you are to the ground. That give, too. Gil give Gilbert a secret encounter. He like just flies for six hours. He kills some shit. Actually, Gilbert flies to the pirate's hideout, deals with them on his own, flies <laughs> back by morning. <laughs> oh my god. Right, Gilbert well, shuffles in, limping, his so, butt just broken. So, while during while screaming while screams of terror resonate from outside. Lyra and Alex are both just wearing reading glasses. Good book. <laughs> I don't need reading glasses. Alex, no, we need to look fancy. <laughs> Does it just for cosmetic purposes? Just for cosmetic purposes, nothing else. There's also a fireplace in the background, and they're both sipping cups of hot tea. On the opposite side of the fireplace. Each one on the opposite yes. side. Yes. Exactly. There's also a bearskin rug. Liar threw it out. <laughs> and blankets. <laughs> uh, and they each have a blanket on their lap. Not just any blanket. A Snuggie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's the, dead. The gym, it, how you uh, play with Gilbert having fun on the grip and is up to you. You know, like how far out I'm gone and if, you know, how high up I am, that's up to you. Gilbert okay. just disappears well, I, for a few days. Yeah, I will. Um, we'll we'll leave that as a cliffhanger. We can start okay. there next time. But I will say, you know, I probably took my sword and shield with me. So if I am out there, you know, we're not defenseless too much. But that's right. awesome. That that good that we got the grip and the work. Nice. If we didn't all have advantage, I would I would throw out the idea of everyone throw out ideas of what he lands on, and the best one gets advantage <laughs> or inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> the one that gets used. But we all have it. I'm still probably gonna do it anyway. Let's be. <laughs> oh, we can do that next week. I 